it's time to mix the concrete and I went ahead and bought pre-bagged concrete. You know, you frequently see it, you know, at uh, the home centers, at hardware stores. It's a really great product for projects like this. It doesn't even make sense to uh, order in a concrete truck. Uh, heck, I, we only need about a little less than three cubic feet. I calculated that. And my goodness, a cubic yard is 27 cubic feet, and you'd pay $400 for that. You know, I only paid... Uh, a little over thirty dollars for this concrete here maybe twenty five so but here's what's really important remember we don't want to get the concrete too wet on this first layer because we don't want it to be too soupy because we want those drains to sit on that nice firm concrete so it's really important that you add just enough water in the instructions on the bag it says to mix approximately three quarters of a gallon with one bag of concrete so that's what I've got here Here's a little one gallon bucket. I've got about three quarters of a gallon of water in it, but here's the trick. I'm not going to pour all the water into the wheelbarrow. That would be a mistake. Uh, you can always add more water and you can't take it out. And I want to show you how stiff I want to get that mixture. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the water in now. And these are the two tools I like to, to mix with. Um, a nice uh, duckbill shovel and this is a mortar hoe and we'll get a few shots of that as I'm doing it so let's get started here so I'm gonna leave about that much water you can see that right there you know I'm gonna leave that much and we'll see what happens we may need it You always got to be careful when you're mixing concrete. Uh, believe me, it's happened to me many a time. Uh, you'll you'll start to pull the concrete to one side. You'll get the, the wheelbarrow off balance and she'll tip over. So, you know, take your time. Don't let the wheelbarrow tip over. I've got the concrete mixed to the proper consistency that I want it. Take a look at this down here. So, it's, it's pretty stiff. Uh, but you can see the moisture in it. Meaning if I pat it, I can bring the sand up to it you know, with no problem. And that's, um, this is probably about a four inch slump. And here's what you need to know about concrete. When it comes in these bags, it only has a fixed amount of Portland cement in the mix. And the Portland cement is the glue that holds the stones and the sand together. If you put too much water in concrete, you dilute the Portland cement and the concrete will not be as strong as it should be. It's a lot like iced tea. Think about this. Think about how you mix a glass of iced tea. You know, the waitress comes, fills it. You um, have the iced tea exactly the way you like it. You drink maybe about a third of the glass of iced tea. She comes by and refills your glass, and now all of a sudden it's not as sweet as it was before. That's because she diluted it. She added too much iced tea to the amount of sugar that you had previously in the glass. So... You know, you can re-sweeten it at your table because you've got more sugar, but guess what? I don't have a bag of Portland cement here to add more Portland cement to the mix. So be careful. Don't make it too wet. Now we just have to go over, pour this into the uh, form carefully, shovel it in so we don't move the form around, and uh, we will start to level it out. You'll see exactly how I'm going to use that block of wood to get it all at the same height exactly where I want it. Let's go do that right now. I've got the first load of concrete in the form and I, I just left it the way I kind of put it in there because I want you to see something. Look down here. Alright, so you can see how high it is and no sense using this tool right away. So I'm going to take this stupid little block of wood that I have and just try to move it around a little bit. We already know, here's, here's a trick we know. We already know that this is four and three quarter and the form is three and a half, it's a two by four. So we have to get the concrete below three quarters of an inch below, actually what am I talking about? An inch and a quarter below, uh, and you know, below the form, you can see that right there, so that we can um, get it to where we want. So I might as well pull some of this extra concrete down this way. 
it'll be much less work, you know, for the tool. All right, now, now you'll see how this works. So you can see it's sitting high right here. I can get my finger underneath it. So we have to So there we go. So that's the height that I want the concrete at so that we can set the drain on it. And while I mix the next batch, you know, this is going to start to get a little firm. It's going to start to get a little hard, which is good. And then if we wanted to, you know, we could float, you know, the top of this. You can see how it moves around. I mean, you know, to get a little sandier. But it's not important. It's not important that we have to get that perfectly smooth uh, with this, just like you'd get a sidewalk or a driveway, because it's just going to be smooth enough for that drain body to sit on it. That's all we really care about. All right, let's get to work. we got to mix more concrete. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got the first layer of concrete in. It's exactly where I want it. Uh, this little device, this little screed worked perfectly. The concrete's perfectly at the right height. And now the next step is to go ahead and gently put in the, uh, the, drain, uh, pi uh, the, the drain. And um, and I'll show you that in the next video. I'll show you how we've got them in place and we're ready to fill around those with concrete. Stay tuned. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com. 